don't have to interrupt you, but I'm just telling you this right now. I want to do anything I can to co cooperate in this investigation. Tell me what you need. Tell me what you need. Well, like I said, I need to know that you haven't sold or tried to sell that tape to anybody else. Can you tell me that? Um, I can tell you I've not um, com completed the transaction. I admit that, but I, I must admit, frankly, I know I'm not under oath, so I'm just saying this at the goodness of my heart. I have uh, entered into preliminary negotiations for Mr. the material. Lee, who has the tape? Excuse me? Who has the tape? Well, I have a copy of the tape, and I will forward right now. If you give me a, um, you know, a, an email, I will have it within four seconds. So you have everything I have. So let's just stay friendly here because. Who has the I don't know. I, I don't know who sent it to me. And I say that with the God's honest truth. Think of this, um, Special Agent. Here, here's the angle. But someone sent it to me with the hope that I would be able to exploit it into the distribution media, whether it's MTV. Did you make any copies? Did I, I did receive, through FedEx, a copy of this material. Nine hours plus of raw material from their last hours at I that graduation that. party. Did you make any copies after you received No. The no, I have not. I have not. But what I have done is told people in the industry about the existence of this because, to me, it still could be a Blair Witch thing where it's all fictional. I just don't know. Well, it's certainly not a crime for you to tell anybody about it. But from this point forward, you'd be doing yourself a, 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 a favor if you wouldn't tell anybody else about this. Because right now, this thing has the potential to really ruin your life. Huh? I mean, if you want to be in a position... We're here. I mean, just the fact that right now the tapes in California could change us from being a New York investigation into a, a, an interstate FBI situation. And but let me tell you something. The feds don't mess around. I, so, I didn't ask for the tape. So the, the tape was sent to me. And, and to be honest, I was about to report it. But when you get so many tapes from filmmakers trying to do a Blair Witch, you can't report ever you know, fake. The biggest movie ever made was Paranormal Activity, and it's a fake faux footage, found footage thing. It's a genre unto itself. So when I get tapes like that, um, if I call the cops every time, I'd be calling the cops every day. So here's what I got to understand. After watching the tape and seeing the deaths and it all putting it together, I realized I was in too deep. I was about to call you boys. I made no, if I was trying to hide this, I would not try to shop it. And I will give you everything. You get me some, I'll get you right now on my people on. So they will give you all the information to how to get in touch with us. We will send you digitally everything we got. And, and, and let's touch base soon because I'd like to know where I stand in all this because my reputation is at stake. I'm sure by now you know that the footage you found is real, correct? Well, to be honest, if it is real, uh, and, and let me just add one fact you may not know. I got this from an anonymous source, but what the, there was a note in there, and I'll give it to you for handwriting analysis because it was handwritten. The note said something to the effect of, we want you to show the world or share this with the world. And I think the, the, the footage, for whatever reason, is their manifesto or their statement or their suicide note, whatever. I don't understand. I know that they had something to communicate, and that's why they sent it to, you know, Creative Autos Agency. My understanding is that you also believe that one of the participants may be alive. Is that true? That is new information we just received. Basically, after watching some of this footage, we found out that one of the individuals was rejected from a marriage proposal and humiliated by the fact that this woman who he had asked to marry, who accepted it and rejected him, went and hooked him short ribs and some of them, um, some crawfish. And uh, what did I send the other day to Mr. Uh, Mr. Branson? It was some of them shawl cakes. I wanted some, some, get me some of them shawl cakes. I'm going to send them up to my friend up there and. Uh, Oh, by the way, I see this thing on two two five. Been it's been on like hold or something. Who's is some who's on that line? Who? I ne never heard of him. But he's he's with the FBI, like the FBI New York, and New York. Okay, and he's called. I, I know I can guess who he's calling about. Well, let's just send him through. We don't want him to think anything's weird. Just send him, send him through, send him through. All right, to two two one, two two one. Hello, may I help you? Yes, is Mr. Lee there, please? This is Mr. Lee. Uh, you a special agent. I'm sorry, I didn't catch the name. Yes, uh, this is Special Agent Bo Broussard with the New York Attorney General's Office. Uh, it's a pleasure, Mr. Broussard. It's a pleasure. If I can help you in any way, I'd love to, and, and, I, and I'm here for you in any way. I'm glad to hear you say that. Uh, my understanding is that you uh, came into possession of a found footage tape. Um, as you know, that tape may have some incriminating evidence and some other things we need to get to the bottom of. Um, first off, uh, do you remember when the tape was sent to you? 
I have all those details. I have the timestamp of receiving the tape. I have fingerprints on the envelope of unknown origin from a private investigator. We got involved. We're going to present all that to you. We got nothing to hide. I tell you, we are on the same team. And I just want you to understand one thing here. We are as perplexed as to the nature of why we as an agency receive this found footage. And here's the funny thing. So you go through this, uh, you know, business for now for me, 22 years and about, you know, 20 years ago when I got involved, we got that Blair Witch craziness, which is, you know, the fake found footage. And we've had it now with paranormal you know, activity and get here's the crazy part so a crime may have been committed i'm not sure i you know i'm no i'm not the authorities i've just heard secondhand accounts but the thing is that if a crime has been committed this actually may be what hollywood has fictionalized for so long the true found footage of the last hours of a group of people who the audience will connect with on a sympathetic level because this was their last hours alive ever filmed. I mean, it's, it's profound, yet it will reach the common man who will understand the gravity of this kind of footage, this artistic weight, if you will. So on a, I guess I digress, I just want to tell you that it's in my interest to find out what's going on because this would be historic if this was actual found footage of a legitimate nature despite the illegitimacy of what happened later to the individuals. Well, I can appreciate your selfish needs to want to turn this into a commercial endeavor. Let me remind you that as far as I'm concerned, you have no permission from the families, and there's numerous statutes, including the Dead Man Act, that would prohibit you from making any sort of profits on their last hours. Uh, I don't think, I don't believe you have the permission to use their likeness. Um, are you familiar with the case of Bradley versus Shriver? I'm actually not familiar with that. I'm not an attorney at law. That's presuming it's some act of crime. It could have been a suicide pact with some... What's that? What's his name? With the, with the FBI. With New York FBI? Alright, put him through. I got... Put him through. Hello, Matt. Hello? I can't hear what... what let, me, let me put you on... I, I got my problem here right now. Speaker's on. Sorry, sir. Uh, may I help you? Yes, Mr. Is this Mr. Lee? This is Mr. Lee. Uh, yeah, I, I don't have a lot of time, but uh, I heard with the FBI. You're with the FBI. I would like to to accommodate you any way I can, uh, but I do I don't have much time. So if you could cut to the chase, so to speak. Well, uh, Mr. Lee, this is Bo Bassard. I'm actually with the New York Attorney General's office, and uh, I'm giving you a call in regards to some found footage you may have in your possession. Um, I, I, I suppose, since I've been in this business a lot of years, uh, and I, I, I'll admit, when this thing came in anonymously, I got a, you must know by now that it, it came in anonymous, and we still don't know who it came from, but yeah, this was some, some material that the best of us, the most professional among us, we still don't know what to make of it, heads or tails, and we were about to call you, I gotta tell you, we weren't trying to pull any funny stuff, but we just didn't know what we had. Yeah, there are always Did that come through the mail? By Federal Express, sir. And do you still have the envelope that it came in? Absolutely, sir. I mean, we're not idiots. I mean, we are. We ain't, ain't, um, we ain't from West Virginia or Louisiana. I mean, just, that's presuming it's some act of crime. It could have been a suicide pact with some 